It's beautiful. And as a matter of fact, what I would like to say to all Metro riders, existing and futuristic, if you plan ahead, just plan ahead, the Metro will give you what I would call almost 100% the best service possible. That's what I've noticed, because I ride it, <laughs> both yeah. rail and bus. <laughs> I, so, um, oh, excuse me. I'm yeah. sorry. I just remembered that I left out one key thing to do with oh, the elevator, please, yeah. mm -hmm. which is that for people who want to get automatic email or text message notifications of when mm -hmm. elevators come in or out of service, they can also sign up for that on our website. Or if they're having any difficulty, feel free to call us and we can help facilitate that. But I get automatic messages on my cell phone throughout mm -hmm. the day letting me know when elevators are coming in and out. So mm -hmm. that's good for, for your yes. commuter, you know, mm -hmm. who wants to know what's going on okay. with their elevators. That's wonderful. Celine, you were so graciously giving us information about the bus, the enunciating bus, calling out stops, etc. Um, tell me some of the things that are in the rails, metro rail system that makes it more accessible. Okay. Um, well, we, we've got a lot of features. The first, <laughs> the first thing to know is that all of our metro rail systems do have elevators. And, um, and from this point forward, in all new rail stations that we build, um, we'll have redundant elevators, as in at least two um, paths of travel that are accessible. Um, and we have a few stations that have redundant paths of travel right now, but not all, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, additionally, we have um, what we kind of call the bumpy domes at the edge of um, many of our platforms. Oh, and that, we're that working grid? The, the grid, which helps signify to everybody um, um, and especially those customers who are low vision or blind, that they're nearing the edge of the platform. Um, it's important to know that not all of our platforms currently have that. So we want people to be very familiar with which, which station they're in yes. so that they don't depend on it being there. Um, but that is a very important accessibility feature that works for all of us, I think. I think it's very helpful. Um, uh, Ricky, do you want to address a few yes, other please. features? Yes. Sure. Um, in, in all of our stations, there are accessible fare vending machines for a person to purchase their uh, fare cards. And some of the, the features of those accessible machines, there there's instructions and information in um, written form as well as in Braille and raised alphabet. And on those particular accessible fare vending machines, there's also a button that a person can push for audio instructions. Oh. And so we've tried to cover as many bases as possible to assist our customers. Mm -hmm. um, also to assist um, people who uh, are deaf or hard of hearing, mm -hmm. All of our rail stations have accessible TTY equipped telephones located on the mezzanine level to assist those, those customers who are traveling within our stations. Um, you know, you had also, uh, Selene had mentioned um, the, the bumpy domes at the platform edge. Another accessibility feature that many people don't realize were, was originally installed to assess, assist our uh, deaf customers are the flashing lights also at the platform edge. That's kind of a dual system that we utilize, but those were originally installed to assist customers who are deaf or hard of hearing so that they would be aware that a train was approaching if they might not be able to hear it coming into the station. Mm -hmm. And the thing that I think is really interesting about so many of our accessibility features is that even, if, even though they may be designed to assist customers with disabilities, they really help all of our customers yes. and are, you know, are, are things that all of us use on a regular and daily basis mm -hmm. that benefit us all. I also mm -hmm. just remembered the gap reducers, which oh. is, is a very important feature, yet one that's almost invisible to many people. Mm -hmm. um, attached to all of our rail cars at every single entrance, there is a little r beveled rubber strip which makes the gap between the rail platform and the train itself much smaller so that anybody who's using a wheelchair, a walker, crutches, a baby stroller, anything, will have much less of a space to, um, to cover when trying to get from the platform to the train or vice versa. Oh, and um, that's been added to all of our trains within the last two and a half, three years. And I, it's, mm -hmm. it's been a great help to me, I know, oh, and to many other people. I'm sure. Thank you. And I'd like to to say thank you so much for all the information, all of your efforts. Plenty of, plenty of people will benefit from that if they'll just get on out, call the website if they need the individual. I mean, you can't lose, it's a win-win situation. 
You Absolutely. Know? Free really orientation, free mm -hmm. training, reduce fear, half of what, you know, that, oh, it's a blessing. <laughs> so Well, we encourage people to come out and use our system. And we, we, through this project, you know, our great effort is to educate people with disabilities so that they are aware of how accessible our system is, how much we really want to reach out and provide the extra supports that they may need. Okay, and thank Thanks you. Thanks for so, having us. Thank you. You're so very welcome. On that note, these were our tips for today. So, no excuse. Get on out there. Utilize the numbers in the website so that you can enjoy your summers on the Metro. Thank you.